Hi, my name is Gabby Bendel, and what you're about to see is the first episode of The Gabby Bendel Show. Um, unfortunately, things took a turn for the worse, and with heartfelt condolences to our first guest, who was the seer formerly known as Miss Cleo, um, we send our sympathy and love to her family and friends. We did an interview with her, and it was wonderful. It was an amazing day. It was myself, the seer, formerly known as Miss Cleo, her amazing manager, LeVan Collins with LLC Management, my friend Joey Albano, my daughter Essie, and you'll see we talked and we got to know each other really well, just an interview, but even off camera, it was a very, very special day and we were all really excited about it. It took us a little while to get it out because in life you always think you have more time, but you don't and we had hoped to get it out in the summer um, and we were working on it and just putting some finishing touches on the video when we found out that Miss Cleo did pass away. So that kind of put us in a, a weird position. We didn't know what to do, um, knowing that we have the last video with Miss Cleo, the last interview, and she revealed a lot. Um, so we waited a little while out of respect for her, out of respect for her family, but we know that she wanted, she wanted the world to see what she said. And we believe this honors her, honors her spirit. And thank you, Miss Cleo. Thank you to LeVan, again, her manager, LeVan Collins, my friend Joey, and my daughter Essie. So enjoy the first episode. Thank you. We are here live. Well, no, I shouldn't say live. See, I'm already messy. It's all right. Roll with it. I'm good. All right, all right. We're here for the first ever Gabby Mendel talk show. And it is such an honor. Um, I have the seer, formerly known as Miss Cleo, as my first guest. <laughs> so exciting, thank you so much. Well, congratulations, mommy. I love it. <laughs> We're both excited. We're yes, excited, thank you we're so excited. Much. And thank great. you for honoring me to ask me to be your first guest. No, I've, I've, been, um, I've been in admiration, a fan of you for 20 plus years. Right. I can remember seeing you back in the day, in the 90s, when I was in high school, and you were it. You were the <laughs> it girl. Honestly. That's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> no. Thank you, sweet. But I want, I want to know what's going on with you now. I right. want everyone else to know. I know you have a tour going on. Right, right. It's called the Rebirth Tour 2016, which is kind of, uh, the purpose of it is we, uh, my manager and I started to plan it, uh, actually, back in, uh, 2014 okay. when uh, I was invited to Hot Docs in uh, Canada for a documentary. You're big in Canada. <laughs> they love me in Canada and I love Canada. Yeah. I love them. They're, they're, they're wonderful people. And Europe though. Oh yes, 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 yes. But they're wonderful people. Right. And um, so we decided that because of here in the States people are used to just one aspect of me. Right. And we wanted to do it free independent indie like what you're doing here right. uh, and people get a chance to know me the woman the mother the businesswoman the person and a few other hats that i wear um and it's also a time of change it was we're coming you know i love the numerology and right. the ancient numerology and it was time for us to shed all things old yeah. All things that may have not had the same kind of vibration and growth energy. And I said, you know what? Let's do that. Um, and um, then because a little tongue-in-cheek with some things and the way that life moves, we said, yes, the seer formerly known as Miss Cleo, that works for us. So I love it. That's what we've been doing, and it has been an absolute blast. And people are wonderful. And, you know, I think people thought I, I, I went away. I don't know. I, I did. today. <laughs> I went into the ether right. and um, I didn't I was doing things out there but you know I, I, I maybe I wasn't making enough noise I don't know I right. wasn't controversial enough I'm not sure uh, but controversy is very exhausting uh, I imagine. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah. so um, took to radio and, and did a podcast back when podcasting was first taking off and and uh, did that for a really long time and then we just finished that uh, okay. last year. So it's been a whole lot of things. I don't want to just keep this, you know, I'll prattle on until the cows come home. No, but I want to hear. So <laughs> let's talk about first, I think, what I think, I could be wrong, mm -hmm. tell me if I'm correct or not. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest things you've done recently is the documentary called Hotlines. Yes. And you yes. can find that on iTunes, right. Netflix. Mm -hmm. I watched it. It was fascinating. 
Well, giving all props up to the young people who approached me, Tony Schaff, uh, Lauren Belfer, and Bryce Renninger. Um, they picked up the phone one day and, and started to find no a way. <laughs> right, 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 right. And tried to find a way to get to me because they couldn't. You can't just you couldn't just go on and and find me. <laughs> it wasn't gonna work like that. Right. Um, but they reached out to a friend of mine in in the LGBT community in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And uh, she works for one of the oldest uh, gay uh, media companies in the country. Okay. And uh, I reached out and said, yeah, you know, can we get a hold of her? And she didn't turn and said, you know, I'm not giving your number to anybody. Long story short, we found out that there was less than three degrees of separation between this wow. young director and myself. And after a little convincing, he uh, convinced me to be in uh, the documentary. Hotlines. So everyone should see it. Um... Because I didn't realize until I saw the documentary how how important they are yeah. for the um, anonymy. What's the word? For, for the, the anonymity. Caller. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yes, the callers can call and be anonymous. Right. They save lives. Absolutely. You know, I I didn't. You know, one of the best parts of, of the documentary because I I didn't see it until I was in Canada <laughs> in Toronto. Um, is I had never thought about what happens for the nine one one. And I thought that, so we're going to tease you, so you have to right. go and get the movie you have to now. See it. Um, but it, it, it opens your mind, especially in a day of such technology, right. it opens your mind into how important Absolutely. this is to pick up the phone and say, you know, I love you. Texting is fine, but I, my, my thumbs are old, so <laughs> I much prefer the whole voice thing. And I think most people do. I mm -hmm. think if you're in a, in a dire situation, right. which right. many people are, there are suicide hotlines, right. there's. Um, things for teenagers, right. teen lines. In the end, you need that other person's voice. That connection, yeah. that spark, something that gives you something to hold on. Right. I think it's important. The comfort. And then you talk about what went on a little bit with the hotline and... They were really wonderful in that way that when they approached me, they said, you know what? We want to give you a voice to tell your side of the story because up until that point in time, how much years later, right. I had never sat down with anyone. Wow. And done an interview. It's crazy. Of any nature. But when I did that interview about it, I said to myself and to anyone around me, I said, the last time I will speak of this, the past is the past, and I move forward. Good for you. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's wonderful. Right, right. That's wonderful. And that's what I want to talk about. You have a book. Yes, I do. The I Queen's do. Bridge Companion Guide to Menopause. Is that yes. right? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, you I know what? I didn't yet, but I'm going to read that book coming up. I, I brought you a copy. You can Thank put it you. on the shelf. Yeah. Well, actually, you know what? Here's the thing. It's it's the the Queen's Bridge, a companion guide for you and the people who love you. Okay. Because understand that as a woman, first of all, I wanted to address the the shame that's attached there. to so many things for women. Yeah. I'm so tired of it. I am a mother of daughters. Mm -hmm. I'm over it. And so it's nothing. I make people feel uncomfortable across the land since I've written a book. Because they'll say, so what's the book about? I say, it's about my personal journey through menopause. And you can hear dead silence, <laughs> interview, whatever. People are like, bro? Um, what did she say? Did she just say that? In word? And I'm like, yo, it's menopause. Yeah. So I decided that I wanted it to have a better, more earnest phrase attached to it. So I call it the Queen's Bridge. Love it. Because in my idea, when we... Our young girls and we start our menses we turn into queens because then we can't procreate right and then as we come to a point where all of that estrogen leaves you yeah. um, then you become sages mm. you become those who can share the wisdom you right. become grandmothers you become wow. great aunties and there's no shame in it we need to find our empowerment and second the lack of knowledge that was out there the lack of information and so I said that's it I'm sitting down, I'm going to write a book. Because there's a thousand books out there, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. But very few for the people who love you. Oh. Your co-workers, your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. There was nothing for the lesbian community, which I was absolutely gobsmacked by. Um, and so we took all of that and put it into this, this one book. And it's very personal to my journey. But it also speaks to sharing oh, knowledge. Sure with women because I, I'm, I'm on board until I drop down to empower <laughs> women even more. We, we, we backslid a little bit if That's you ask awesome. me and so it's time to get back on board. Yeah. Well just to throw something out there, mm -hmm. you're talking about women 
-hmm. Are you for Hillary? Oh, <laughs> that's awful. That's awful. That's awful. No, I, I, sorry. I, 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 didn't, I didn't vote race. Uh, so I didn't vote for uh, our current president. Wow. Uh, no, I did not because oh. I, I didn't vote race. Okay. Uh, I didn't think that uh, it was all in the in the right place. Uh -huh. um, I was actually a John Edwards girl, uh, and then of course you know he turned out to be a real disappointment. He was. Um, yeah. And God love him. No judgment because we all kind of mess up. But right. um, yeah, no, you know, politics is an interesting diatribe. What mm. I can say is <laughs> oh. that we are we are observing his historical times right Aren't now we? um and uh, uh you know it's it's i actually don't like any of them that are out there right now i'm sitting here thinking okay right. lesser of uh, let's okay let's no. do the shell game you know what i'm saying right, right. i'm actually gonna do a show coming up in the next couple of weeks where i'm gonna take a, take a look at all of their numerology <gasps> to see what oh, kind of leaders awesome. and decision making they do, etc. Just for a little bit of sidebar to Now where bit. will that show be? How will we can we I, see yes, it? Yes, yes, I have a channel on Vimeo called okay, The Vimeo. Seer's Guide uh -huh. or the, the Seer Live is the okay. name of the channel. And we run three shows right now. The Seer's Guide to the Fourth Dimension, okay. which is about all things that go bump in the night, about heart, about communing, uh, yoga. Uh, crystal healing, all of those things uh, that I love. Just talk about crystals. Yeah, crystals are sublime, and I I'm not an expert, but I have wonderful people around me who are who are uh, teaching me, yeah. and we we share an exchange. Um, we have the Sears Kitchen because I love to cook. I've heard you're very passionate about your food, I, and oh, desserts. Food and... or oh, dessert is life. Is it <laughs> <laughs> dessert is life. Skip dinner. Let's have dessert, right? Um, <laughs> Uh, and then we have the Queen's Bridge, which okay. is actually the show now because, and it's actually the number one show on the channel, which I'm not surprised at and I'm very grateful for because I think it's somewhere for women to come mm -hmm. and to feel comfortable uh, because I just want to add one other thing mm -hmm. with so many younger women getting breast cancer it's and the scary. fact that often those tumors are estrogen fed. When they have the tumors removed or they have their breasts removed, it almost sends them into a systemic surgical menopause. So we're talking about women who were once upon a time would be in their 60s having breast cancer. And so menopause might have been over. Nobody felt the need to have the conversation. Right. Things are changing now. Right. And then there's even more though. You have a poetry CD. A Full two. Moon Madness? Full Moon Madness is, one. is the latest uh -huh. one. It was uh, released in 2013. I think the, oh God, the latter part is the middle part of 2013. Okay. <laughs> the memory going. Yeah. Um, and then the very first one was back in 2006, 2007 mm -hmm. called uh, Convicted for My Beliefs. Wow. And that one. That was, sounds heavy. It was. It was very socio-political. Mm -hmm. um, and. The first track was my answer to the media, uh, to the standard traditional media back in the day, and it was called Confessions of a Voodoo Woman. Wow. <laughs> so I had a little fun with that one. But the others are very, uh, very much so about the sociological times uh, that uh, we are moving through now and um, that we were moving through then, um, and that we all have to call ourselves on the carpet. If there's any change coming. Right. Stop looking somewhere else for the change. The change has really got to start with us as people. Isn't that the truth? Right. Wow. Wow. So you have you have your poetry CDs. You're mm -hmm. a poet. You're an author. You're a photographer. Yes. I don't yes. think many people know that. No, they do not. But we're hoping to change that. Right. We're hoping to listen, get world. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping to get together a gallery show. Uh, this year, I'm not really sure how we're pulling off all of the things that we've got going on, um, but yeah. that is the objective to do that and kind of turn it into a performance art vibration. Yeah. So it will be the photography, myself, we have a few other surprises nestled in there. So we're, with the technology, and, and not that I'm a spring chicken, so this is a lot of new for me as far as everything being digital. Um, but taking it to that next step and kind of merging the two vibrations, the old with some of the new and coming up with snoo, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it seems like you know exactly what you're doing though. Oh, yeah. That's good. I'm yeah. glad it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> you have so much on the table, and oh it's goodness. exciting. And so, what do you like to? What's your favorite thing to photograph? Are you nature? Are you people? Where's you your inspiration? What, you know, my inspiration. You? I like the the unusual. I like the odd, you know what I'm saying? I might find something really bizarre and take a really close-up telephoto picture of it just yeah. because it's out of context and we don't pay attention when we... My doggy is always oh. my favorite. <laughs> uh, and she hates to take a picture. She's so anti-paparazzi. Um, but I love to take pictures of so her. Um, you know, I love a good morning sunrise. Those of are course. fabulous. And Florida has beautiful Oh, sunrise. don't they? On as well as the moons. Right. Uh, the full moons and so yeah I don't know that I have a specific as of yet other than just being kind of bow art more about the perspective rather than the subject matter okay mm -hmm. okay that's awesome now in 2006 I believe mm -hmm. it was you came out as a lesbian yes, to Out Magazine, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're still very involved yes. in the LGBT community. Right, right. we were just at uh, Pride for the West Palm Beaches this past weekend, and I was out there shooting some footage and getting Good ready for, for the show. So, yeah, absolutely. Were you the Grand Marshal at a Pride Festival? I was. Oh, my goodness. That is what we're going back. Are we? I want to say 2000, what was it, 2008? Okay. 2008, okay. I was Grand Marshal. Uh, for Pride, and that was a lot of fun. Oh, I you know, and it, it was it was pretty amazing, and it was so empowering uh, to come out on my own terms. Right. You know, not to be right. dragged out of uh, the closet kicking and screaming, because when I made that decision, it ultimately meant that many of my family um, that were more conservative Jamaicans were more than right. likely going to cut me off. And they wow, did. Wow. Um, and so uh, there was probably only a surprise with one or two that did not cut me off. But the balance, I nieces and nephews, I haven't seen since then. And, really? Oh, what are you gonna do? I knew that, and we understood Even that. Even in this day and age, it just it it shocks me, honestly. Well, in the, I, I've heard Jamaica of it, the is Caribbean. still a very uh, the Caribbean for the most part is still a very very conservative uh, religious vibration and so religion struggles in many uh, parts of the world with just acceptance yeah. you understand of uh, anybody so that being said it, but you know I, you have to live your own truth yeah you know otherwise yeah. you die somebody else's lie wow that's not what i'm feeling <laughs> no no but you seem so well grounded you know uh -huh. your roots are strong and it seems like even though those people you haven't been in touch with, you're okay. You're still standing. You're here. What more can I do? Right. You know, I, I have, like I said, I have daughters. They're all grown up now. But I'm hoping that the foundation that I was able to lay for them was about character, was about um, yeah. being earnest yeah. with self. You know, because when you're earnest with self, then you can be accountable for anything that you do. Right. And you don't yeah. care. Now, if you're sensitive, and I'm a big marshmallow, you know, <laughs> um, I had to get tougher, too. And that has probably been, in the last 10 years, yeah. the, the greatest challenge is getting up tougher skin. Because I'll cry it. I'll cry at that same McDonald's commercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> but now I can kill palmetto bugs, so I feel like <laughs> You need that here. Oh, yeah. God, you so need it. You're yeah, going yeah. to Florida State, make sure you bring some moxie for the palmetto bugs. <laughs> You're fine. No, that's awesome. And the other thing we haven't touched on, which is very high-tech, right. you have an app. Your own oh, app. Oh, my goodness, yes. Oh, God, that is so high-tech. It's almost so high-tech right over my head. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> no, I downloaded it. It's super easy to get. I went to the app store. Right, uh, right. You know, I have my iPhone, and... I put the seer, right, and then it's FKA, FKA. so formerly known as Miss mm -hmm. Cleo, right, right, and it comes up, and right. through that, people can connect with you. Absolutely, they have all kinds of ways. So for up until probably just about uh, seven months ago, I was not available uh, or accessible for people to actually reach out and say I'd like a reading. Right, everything was very private. Which you still uh, do? I which mean, which I still do. I have right. an amazing international base, which right. I absolutely love them. Um, but I thought it would be nice to make myself available to more people. Right. What's funny is I think, again, people aren't really sure where I'm at. And there are so many people online that claim to be me, oh. you know, or versions of me and whatever. So it's very, I think people just think, oh, that's not Miss Cleo. She wasn't a real person. She yes. just, <laughs> which I wish I could. That would be fabulous. No, no. No, I mean, just come back and go. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, going invisible kind of thing. Right. But, um, 
it's all good. We're, we're, we're making them aware. So through that, people can get readings. You they can, can get call, readings. Numerology. Absolutely. Uh, Zenosho, uh, they, it's a direct link to the Sears uh, channel. You keep up with everything. You can get uh, the Sears swag. We have t-shirts. We have a few coffee mugs. We have a 2016 tour hat. You can get the calendar. And the calendar. calendar. You can get the calendar. Uh, the calendar here in a minute will be kind of obsolete unless people just want the <laughs> photography. Is that your photography? It is. Every wow. Every photo in the calendar is was hand selected by me, was taken by me, and so wow. that was really uh, a labor of love. Uh, and and my manager, Levan Collins, LDC mm -hmm. Management, I always got to give him props because I'm not the easiest person in the world to work with. <laughs> um, just because I'm odd, I'm really odd, and I'm a bit of a control freak. So big ups to all of my control freaks out there. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> It's gonna be this figure, yeah. right. uh, and he does really, really well with that. Uh, but he said, you know, you need to do a calendar. I was like, really? When? In my sleep? <laughs> and he said, ah, oh, you can put it together. Go and do a calendar. And then once I got into it, then I wanted it to be prettier, and then I wanted to do it, and then I was just consumed uh, and really happy with the product. Wonderful. It has all of our celestial events on it. Uh, uh, it has uh, different nuances of asteroids and meteor showers and so, so cool. Mercury retrogrades. All the They're rest tough. Your, well, your relationships. They are I'm just tough. learning about them. Well, communication. Mercury, planet of communication. So if we're not communicating effectively, all Mercury does is shine a big old light on it and says, okay, until you fix this, then you're going to have these issues. I love Mercury retrograde. I've grown in that really? aspiration. Because, you know, I, I take it as a respite. You get to review, you get to research, and you don't have to make a decision. Maybe that's why I need to change, change my own mindset about it. Because I hear if it's coming, and I'm like, oh no! People, I used to do the same thing. My butt cheeks would get tight, and I would think, oh God, we're just going to be going through mayhem. I would do nothing. That's, don't do this. That's what I try. Don't do yes. that. Don't, that's not living. Oh, that's See, what you I know do. what? It, I learned many, many, many years ago that you cannot allow knowledge become your prison. Mm. You have to work with it. It is knowledge for a reason. You understand? So until, if it's raining, you don't say, I can't go out to the house. Right. Now if it's monsooning, that might not be a good <laughs> idea. Or a hurricane. But if it's raining, and we know we get some rain. We yeah, We get we sheets of rain. <laughs> if it's raining, you just say, okay, let me go to the map. Let's see what's happening. Okay, I got a break here. Let me get my umbrella, take off the suede shoes, whatever it is, okay. and you navigate. You because prepare yourself. And do Preparation. your best. Use your knowledge. And so okay. that's how I navigate Mercury Retrograde now. Yeah. I think, okay, what do I need to review? What What if something pops up? You know, I'm always happy because you know something's going to break. Yeah. That's <laughs> a given. Right. You know what I'm saying? Something odd is going to break and it's going to break in an odd way. But then you fix it and... Better that a uh, perfect short start. Okay. Friends of mine, <clears throat> and they are just about two thirds of the way doing redoing this house that they okay. bought in, and so they're in their sixties, you know. So we're in their grandparents, and they were getting ready to go at the beginning of the new year to go to San Agustin, nice little romantic vacation ever. Before they left, the week before they left, there was a spring in the wall. The, the, a pipe burst or something and when she woke up in the morning she had six inches of water on her oh. first floor you know just oh. imagine right yeah oh. and it, it just had finished doing the molding in the room i mean all of those finishing touches yeah. and i said to her the next week was going to be mercury retrograde i said aren't you glad i said because if you had been out of town you'd have come back in the whole damn house would have been a mess because they were gone for right. 10 days just enough time in this humidity ridden vibration we live in right to get things etc etc et and so she said you know you got a point so she was causing the mercury retrograde but at the same time timing is everything oh absolutely so it worked out well so right. short start right no i see so it's okay. all about the perspective of how you look at it and i love that your calendar has that because most of the time for me to know Mercury mm -hmm. ret retrograde is coming, or mm -hmm. I have to do my own little research. You know, I, I want to make it easy for people to just see it and say, "Oh, there it is." Because to tomorrow we have our total, uh, no, not total, uh, a penumbral lunar eclipse and the full moon, wow. which shadows uh, Virgo uh, with its main state in Libra. So, okay. gonna be very intense. Emotions are running high for wow. people. 
but it is another powerful time to bring old stuff to an end. Can I ask, how do you, how did you get all this knowledge? How did Oh gosh, well that's about 30, no, no, it's not even 32 anymore. It's gotta be about yeah. 40 years of study. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> over the years, I mean, I started out back in the late 80s studying ancient Egyptian numerology. Okay. And um, took a trip to Egypt, to Cairo, uh -huh. and back when you could, you know, it was a little less dangerous. Right. Right. Um, and uh, outside of Nairobi. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. with some wonderful uh, shaman, Leban people. Uh, but this was in those years and, and I was really fortunate to be able to travel. I was really fortunate uh, that my parents could uh, kind of finance it because I didn't do it necessarily yeah. all on my own. Yeah. Um, Good people. Yeah, and came back and, and learned those things. And then my Dundun, uh, who was my teacher, who taught me everything that I knew about voodoo and different vibrations. Uh, so it was always learning with her. And I tell people it's like Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because she would go, she would tell me to do something. And I say, I don't know what this is doing. Why? This is not what I want to learn. Mm -hmm. And I would always say, wax on, wax off. Um, because by the time she had taught me something, I didn't even realize it. You know what I'm saying? I was fussing and thinking that it was supposed to look one way or the other. And even with my students, because I have students now, Oh. Um, which is wonderful mm -hmm. and, and that's part of what we do. We have to teach to leave somebody behind right. to teach it the old ways to go on. And um, so she was my heart. She was also my surrogate mom. She understood yeah. me. She loved me. She's my heart. I could that's go on wonderful. about her for a thought. Matter of fact, on the second CD, uh, Mango and Me is dedicated to her. Okay. And so it, it's a very hard That's Full Moon thing. Madness. That's on Full Moon okay. Madness. And okay. Full Moon Madness is the title track. And of course, it's about menopause. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a lighter look uh, at, at menopause because there is humor in everything. You have Absolutely. to maintain your humor. So yeah. there's humor in it. While it is not always a funny subject matter, there is indeed humor. Speaking of humor, um, what was it called? Benefits Cosmetics? Yeah. That was awesome with Joey Lawrence and Shannon Daughtery. Oh, they're hilarious! And, and they, you know what? One the the writers for that were just a hoot, and a couple of them came from Comedy Central, so they just gave it lots of fun. And of course, Shannon did an amazing job, and Joey Lawrence and loved them both. Yeah. Um, and they were just an amazing, wonderful. We enjoyed it very delicious much. Delicious company. Uh, to work with, and I'm wearing my Benefit Cosmetics today. Not just because, <laughs> not just because uh, it's great makeup. That's yeah. the thing. They didn't pay me to say that. It's just, yeah. it's really wonderful, wonderful makeup, and it's really easy. And I don't like to wear makeup, so right. yeah. if I can make it easy, right. on that I'm on it. You know? Wow. I mean, you are dibbling and dabbling in everything. Why not? Right? Right, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why do we always want to put ourselves into a box? Right. Freedom allows you just that. Freedom. Mm -hmm. To go and be and you know, to even grow yourself. I had no idea of some of the things that I would come back to. I loved photography when I had little kids. Mm -hmm. Back in those days it was very expensive. Yeah. The film, film yeah. to go get it developed, to do this, to that. Yeah. Kids, you put that away. <laughs> and you raise the children. Um, and now the children, you know, are in positions to have their own children. And yeah. I don't have any yet, but yeah. no grandchildren. But uh, I'm good. That's all right. That leaves grandma. That leaves the, the future grandma potential to go and travel right. and move about the cabin right. without any guilt. So right. that's what I'm after. <laughs> well, this has been so wonderful, so fabulous talking to you. Oh, I love you. And if it's okay, I'm going to ask you if you can read... I My would be are... honored. And I would absolutely will take you. a look forward. Okay, Let me thank you so much. Oh, yes. And okay, the, the, I hear my manager in the back <laughs> of my head saying, I'm at the seer, formerly known as Miss Cleo FKA on Instagram and on Twitter. Uh, it's TH Seer FKA MSCLEO. You can also follow me at Real MSCLEO. I'm on Twitter as, okay. as well. So I didn't want anybody to be confused. I get confused. <laughs> It's just, it's so much new knowledge, you know, right. life is good. And uh, I actually looked up seer, because I didn't know mm -hmm, what it meant, mm -hmm. and it means, it means to see. Yeah, to soothsayer, yeah, it's an old term, you know, and much like Merlin was, you know. And again, I think sometimes I, I, we do our best to uh, 
there are many people that divine information. Uh, there are witches, there are mediums, there are psychics, there are priestesses, there are lebans. We are a very diverse group and we all do things a little bit differently. Much of it sometimes is originated or connected to culture. Right. But I, I often make sure to let people know we don't all hang out at the same watering hole. Right. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> There's not like a magic place right. where we go. Um, you know, it is it is what it is and we're out here, you know. But the wonderful thing is we all have accessibility to our third eye connection. Uh -huh. You know, each and every one of us. All right. Woo, this is exciting. <laughs> all right. This is the ancient Egyptian cartouche, and it's an okay. old deck, and it's all bent up. You shuffle it. You put I your shuffle. you shuffle okay. it. You put your intentions into it, and then whatever you may want to be open to. Okay. Not the best shuffler. I'm not a cards lady. Oh, here. that's all right. Oh, gosh. These are big cards too. Okay. I'm sorry, boss over there. I'll sit back down. You can, you can certainly catch that. Your editor will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be just fine. Okay. I think that's... My girl said, that's it. All right. And then I cut them for you. Okay. All right. Sometimes they want to cut a certain way. That should be interesting. All right. Now, what we're going to do here... Here is we are going to, I'm going to see what angle I can do this at. We're going to take a look at the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to look at the first ten houses and eleven, twelve. And then this card is the overall. Oh, see, we can make that work. Look at that. <laughs> Now, we, this is called uh, the astrological star. And so it takes a hit and a look at all 12 houses in your life. And then the 13th card is a uh, general uh, vibration to the reading. All right. So can I get all of these? I like to see all of my pictures first because each one relates to the others in the sphere. Oh, well, I like that. That's <laughs> lovely. All right, let's see here. Now, now, as you're starting to come out of your comfort zone, mm -hmm. as you're starting to brook out and really start to take a look at things that are new and you're trying to push yourself way out there, I'm yeah. very proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Don't trust everybody. Sometimes you're a little bit too anxious and you think everybody has the same spirit that you do. And you know that not to be true. That's true. So sometimes we just have to be discriminating into who we share the love with, into who we share the trust with. What I can tell you though is that I want you to stop worrying about money. I want you to stop worrying about the house. I want you to stop worrying about all of those things because there's no reason to. Okay. All right? We have some really positive things coming up in this year. Probably some seeds that you actually planted from 2014 for you specifically, mm. but we're starting to come forward. All right. Mm -hmm. So in the next five, five weeks, and that puts us up with us into May. So the next five weeks or sometime in May, you're going to call me on the phone. You're going to text me and say, oh, okay, in that reading, Cleo, this is what happened. Wow. And I'm going to say, yes, yeah, star, I thought you stopped worrying. Yeah. Your health is good, but I would like for you to be a little bit more communicative with your body okay because when you don't feel well you don't hear your body mm -hmm. but I have to tell you this is something you were still like that 10 years ago when I met you because I remember saying that to you right. it was like Gabby you're not taking enough care of yourself everybody else well no I'm happy when everybody else is happy well yeah. that's great because if you fall down right then nobody else is gonna be dying right okay so communication, especially during this upcoming Mercury retrograde. Okay. If you aren't feeling any kind of way, anything, make sure. It may be nothing more that you need to get a little more sleep. Yeah. Maybe <laughs> not more that maybe you need to drink some cherry juice or you right. drink some, something that is so happy to your soul, okay? Yeah. Sleep is always happy to the soul. Okay, <laughs> right? And apparently, sometimes we don't always get no, enough. No. 
Um, and still, as we move through, still things kind of wonky. Um, I do not, again, you continue to be concerned about the house. The house continues to come up. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure what that's about, even the possibility of entertaining a relocation. Um, but that still seems to be something in your head. So I want you to breathe on that and know that that's going to be okay. okay it's gonna um, the creativity. Trust yourself. Because this, oh, you are so spooked. <laughs> oh my goodness, you'll be fine. Yeah. You are going to be deliciously wonderful. I don't want you to second guess yourself. You are so, 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 so hard on yourself. Yeah. We can't even trust you. So I don't even think you get to have an opinion on the show. You just have to get everybody else to tell right. you what their opinion is. And then you're going to have to trust them. Okay. Because you're very talented and you always have been. Thank you. All right, now here is one that is the I love new phase. New phase is like, yes, you're getting ready to broke out. It's a new foundation. That's the scarab. And so whenever I see that, I get excited because it's like, yes. <laughs> um, because that's in mind, body, and spirit. That's in your house of everything that has to do with how you work, how you move. So it is time to be excited. Okay. It is so time to be excited. <laughs> discipline. This yeah. In this vibration here, and this is discipline in your house of relationship. So the two of you have to, again, that's where you're used to communication during a retrograde heart on a couple. That's your weak point, the two of you. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> so you have to be more disciplined to hear each other. Okay. Communication is two-way. People think it's just talking. Right. And it's no, you have to listen. If you are already forming an opinion or a reaction to what somebody says and they're in the middle of the sentence, then you're not listening anymore. Right. You have to stop and breathe. Okay, let's, you breathe. And it's hard. I get it. I get it. Especially if some of us are more chatty when we're emotional and some of us are like, I'm walking away. Whatever the case, you got to bring it back to the middle. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes in the moment, to all of you out there, it's not the time to discuss it. Some people are like, I need to get it talked about. No, no, me, I need to stop. No. Because I don't want to say anything that I have to apologize for. Right. Because that means if I have to apologize for it, it hurts somebody. I need I to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Then so sometimes when we're upset with somebody that we love, we don't want to hurt them. But once you let that go, boy, looky here. And I got one of those memories. You say something to hurt my feelings, I not forget it for a lifetime. So just want you two to take a look at that. But other than that, you're fine. <clears throat> um... Oddly enough, on the other side, you have a pet coming over. It doesn't happen often, but there is a pet that's coming over. And I don't know if you miss them. It could, it must have been in the last nine years. Maybe it, it that you lost one that crossed over. We had, there was, we had a black cat that recently Recently, away. okay. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Away, yeah. Okay, all right. Did that bother you or somebody else in the family? Because the energy is still lingering around the house. Um, I'm not surprised because the cat was an outside cat mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. this neighborhood was its territory. Right, right, it was right. very protective of right. all of us. And right, right, right. So I would assume it's just its own energy still. Yeah, yeah cause very, very similar. So I think that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Um, and for whatever reason, again, the, the number, uh, the month of September. So I'm not even sure what that's about but the month of September so it may have been September to last year or September to this year okay. but that may be even when you get another one okay. um okay, so not, okay very much so um even with the changes that you have made on your own personal philosophical level mm -hmm. all right um far more peaceful but even those changes have made you gain more courage but more over more self-security Right. There's not struggle with the self-esteem anymore, which is really exciting to see from you because I remember a long yeah. time ago. Um, oh gosh, that makes me want to cry. It's just been growing <laughs> so lovely. Um, and I tell you, I'm a marshmallow aster. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, you know, sometimes when you see people grow, that is my greatest reward. I have had people with me and known them and... When I see them again and life is good, I, I get such a loose bump and I'm just like, yes, that's right. delicious. And you have plenty of magic this year. You have plenty of magic. Thank so you. don't paint yourself into a box. Okay. Sometimes you like it because it makes you feel safe. Right. Especially since you're out here flying without a net. Right. <laughs> 
step away from the box, Gabby. Um, and understand that there are always things that come up. Obstacles are there to entertain us. Because wow. if we were just moving through nice and easy breezy, everybody would be bored. Yeah. <laughs> Little obstacles is oh some excitement. Yeah. This this you know when you are living and moving through stuff like that, I say to people, you know you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> you know you are alive. Right. Um, because who wants to be bored? You know, right. I yeah. I've never been able to use the word bored. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got that. I'm not even sure what that would look <laughs> right. like. And I'm, okay, could I go to board? Could I visit for a well, while? I'm not sure. Right. So don't let the boxing inside your head clip your wings. Okay. Don't do that, all right? Okay. Now, again, that may not occur until the latter part of this year. Okay. And so October may be very challenging for you, okay. all right? So we're going to go into October, and we're just going to breathe from the first day of October. And we're just going to center ourselves. But that looks like when you may have any kind of weird crapola that just okay. make up and sometimes it's just annoyance right. and I just get annoyed because it's like I don't have time for this right now one of a fine time because somewhere somehow there's a lesson all right mm -hmm. and then look at this one this is this is the gravity and the energy of the whole reading it is a lotus blossom and that is a delicious card 2016 mm -hmm. it is a cumulative seven and that is wonderful. So some <laughs> peace of mind for you would be delightful. Delightful, yes. <laughs> but in your creativity mm -hmm. will come that peace. I don't want you to stop creating anymore. Right. You have stutter started over the last 10 years. Right. Okay? Nothing. If somebody can't see what you're doing, then tell them to kiss your big toe. Get yeah. out of the way. <laughs> you know, get out of the way. Because I can see it. Mm -hmm. I have manifested it. I have created it. Dusty, don't deal. Mm. You know, so I, I'm looking forward to it. Next time you're gonna be on, you're gonna. I want to come back. I want to come back on the hundredth episode. That's How right. about that? I want to come back on the hundredth. You are you. the beginning of my magic. Oh, I, so, I am happy to thank be. Thank you so much. Oh, I love you. Give me a <laughs> thank you, thank you. This oh, is amazing. Oh, oh, I love you, sweetheart. Oh my gosh. You're such a thank precious. you, thank you. You are so precious. So, if other people want readings from you, mm -hmm. you they, can do it in person, Skype. You don't have to necessarily right, be right. in person. You have your app. Right. We have the app. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. Uh, let's see. What else, sir? We're, we're just we're all over the place. I'm looking. Yeah. Pinterest. Oh, Pinterest. Oh, Pinterest. Pinterest. I love Pinterest. I live for Pinterest. I'm Pinterest. A teacher, so yeah. I love Pinterest. Pinterest has the best doggy pic. Oh, the best dessert pictures. They got some <laughs> fabulous dessert pictures. My daughter loves Pinterest. Uh, yes, they do. And I am on Pinterest. Uh, the Seer, formerly known yes. as. And so I have okay. foodie pages. I got some travel pages oh, on there. Oh, that's here. adorable. Oh my gosh. So yes, absolutely. We're also on Tumblr. I mean, I, you know, again, this is a little bit out of my framework, but my manager is so good with me yeah. that he's kind of encouraged me to kind of get up there. And and on the app, sometimes I come in, I'll hit you up on Twitter and let you know where I'm in that in the app room. And who knows, I might just go ahead and want to talk to you about a thing or two yeah. if the spirit moves me. So you could get lucky on that particular yeah. day. Um, but I do. I, I enjoy the people who love me out there are so amazing and they mean the world to me and they seem to be so tickled that they know that I'm here because I never went anywhere right. <laughs> um, but um, but they seem to be very very oh and you can also get the best of conversations with Cleo which was my podcast oh, that's right. uh, that's still on blogtalkradio.com I'm uh, very socio-political like I said okay. um, so very different from what I'm doing now um, but you know the reason I made that change is uh, in in my life's walk I've always been a political creature you know yeah. that being yeah. political and, right. and I thought you know what we can sit here and we can discuss the big pile of shit over <laughs> here and watch yeah. the flies or I can take some of that shit and I can go over here and I can start plant flowers yeah fertilizer <laughs> and I can start plant other things and so I'm taking my attention from all of this madness and I'm bringing it over to the creativity side because the answer to war and discrimination and nastiness and mean-spiritedness is creativity yeah you know, so we create love, then we're on our way. That's right. <laughs> the website. 
Oh, oh and the website, Lord Jesus. <laughs> yes, and they can also visit me at... <laughs> They can also visit me at the seer formerly known as Miss Cleo, all the way spelled out, dot com, or conversationswithcleo.com. Okay. And you can get all of the information, all of the ditties, figure out where I'm at, how to get there. It's one click, fascinating shopping, and no ads. Ha ha! Oh, that's that's <laughs> yeah, Don't yeah. you love that? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Thank and you, baby. I appreciate honor. it. I am honored. Have a good one.